of things to that point, I don't think we can achieve organizational transformation without individual transformation. And so we are uh, placing a lot of focus on education and training. Um, I think that for the most part, people are not really conscious of uh, their behaviors, their stereotypes that we all have. And we need to get that. We need to get that we all do these things um, and how they, they can ultimately impact on the, uh, on the lives of other people. And so there's a great focus. Uh, I do believe in education. I do believe that it has to be uh, a multi-pronged approach. So you look at eliminating systemic barriers, but at the same time, we have to provide people with the tools uh, to help them to become uh, more aware of uh, their behavior on just a, a human level. I had the opportunity of doing, uh, to do quite a bit of this work uh, in many countries on the continent of Africa. And one of the things that I was, um, well, not pleased to see that there's discrimination there, but uh, one of the things that I think I became convinced about is that discrimination is neither a North American nor a European construct. Mm -hmm. It's a, it's a human construct, and uh, uh, it might look different depending on the jurisdiction. Uh, so if you're in Côte d'Ivoire, let's say, or, or Swaziland, it might be based on tribal, regional, ancestral differences, but it's all discrimination. I think if we can get that at a fundamental level, it helps, uh, it helps to be the great equalizer and takes us out of the realm of victim and perpetrator. Um, having said that, there are people who are facing uh, greater barriers than others, and um, I think it's important that we, we certainly look inward. Um, a favorite quote of mine that I used to have on a previous uh, business card is, is a quote by Thoreau that says, only that day dawns to those who are awake. And I think sometimes we need to wake each other up to uh, our, our, our realities and our circumstances.